Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be answering a question I get so many times. I have to make this video. Should I install a 50 amp interlock kit or a 30 amp interlock kit? Which one should I install? All right, guys, today I'm going to answer this question because so many people ask me this. So I got to make a video about it. Okay, over here we have the 30 amp and here we have the 50 amp. They look exactly identical with the tops closed. The only way you're going to know which one's 50 and which one's 30. Real quick, let's open this one up. Let's see which one it is. Okay, this one has four pins. And let's open this one. This one has three pins in the middle. This one has four pins. Hmm, I bet you probably think this one's the 50 amp, right? No, that's the 50 amp. Where well, you can tell the 50 amp, guys, because this is what the plug looks like. This is the 50 amp plug. 240 volt 50 amp it has a little plug in the middle that's just to keep everything aligned there's nothing coming out of that plug that's just to keep it centered you have one right here and three in the middle the 30 amp you have all four in the middle another another easy way to identify the plugs are with this one you have the four pin that goes to the generator and this one goes to your interlock kit. And the wire is a 10 gauge. It's a 10 gauge wire. Real soft, real light, it's like an extension cord. This guy right here has a 50 amp plug, okay? And you can see the difference. This is a big 50 amp plug that goes to this thing right here. It has a dust cap, screws on to keep everything out. The wire is an eight gauge wire, and this thing is heavy. It's so heavy, all right, and thick. Look at this. All right, I'm going to put the 50 amp and right next to it, the 30 amp. Let's look at the difference, difference in size. See that? 8 gauge and 10 gauge wire. Look, it's almost twice the size. Okay, guys, but that's not the problem. That's not even what you guys need to look at. What you need to pay attention to is the power you need. If you're going to be using a 6,000 watt generator, all right, you want to go with the 30 amp. 7,000 watt generator, that's all you're going to use, 30 amps. 7,500 watts generator, 30. Even though this one has a 50 amp plug, you can go both ways. But if you're not going to parallel this generator, there's no need to install the 50 amp when you're not going to use that much power. The 30 amp, your maximum power is 7,500 watts. Okay? 7,500. Doesn't mean you can't surge above 7,500, but your sustained power has to be right around 7,500. For example, you have this 9,000 watt generator. Okay? 9,000 watt, but the running watts is 7,600. So if you're going to use this generator, 30 amp plug. But if you're going to parallel this generator, then you want to think about the 50 amp plug. And also, you have to use a parallel kit if you have this generator. All right, let's go back down the other way. So that's for your 30 amp. If you're thinking of using a 50 amp plug, your maximum power is 12,000. 500 watts, okay? Sustain, 12,500 running. Okay, now we have a 28,000 watt generator right here, okay? You can see the size different next to the Gen Max 9,000. You're probably thinking, how am I gonna utilize 28,000 watts? 20,000 watts running. You got a 50 amp plug, and another 50 amp plug, another 30, Another 240 volt 30 amp. Another 240 volt 30 amp. Right here you have 120 volt 20 amps. 120 volt 20 amps. This generator was not built to pull all its power from one plug. So please guys, so many questions coming in about this generator and how are you going to utilize all that power? It's a construction type whole house generator. So you, you have multiple outlets to utilize that power but you can run your home and your rv together because it has 
250 amp plugs. All right. As you can see from one plug, I've pulled up to 7,600 watts. Okay. So right there, that's easy. All right. So this one right here, I would do 50 amp for sure. You have two Gen Max 9000 parallel together. 50 amp plug is the only way you can go. Okay, guys, so if you're trying to figure out which one you want to go with, it basically saying, what are you going to run? Are you going to run above 7,500 watts all the way to 12,500? That's a lot of power. If you don't need that much power, go with the 30 amp. You could use adapters. You could use a 1,000 watt generator. Just turn off all your 250 volt load. If you want to use a smaller generator, you can use it with that one. Just ad adapt it. Use an adapter. You could use a 2,000 watt, power all your 120 loads. Or if you're going above 7,500 watts, you're going to need to go with the 50 amp. That's it. 12,500 and down, 50, 7,500 and down, 30. We're almost at that goal right now, a little milestone, that big 10. Okay? Keep pushing that subscribe button. Let's get there. Guys, the channel's getting better just because of you guys hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.